Hello farmers and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 15 mod spotlight and today we are taking a look at the New Holland T8435 Then you might say isn't it already a T8435 in the game? Yes it is The girl over there the track the tr smart track version and you know for people that likes New Holland tractors and maybe or just like the looks of these guys in in the game here I think they are cool and they are certainly very useful in farming sim 15 but they might not like really they have tracks instead of tires I wish there actually was two versions in the game fair enough it's two T8s in the game but one is 320 horsepower and the other one is 435 horsepower 435 horsepower but then you might say, yeah, well, I don't like the tracks. Well, as well, you know, it, it will make a little bit more sense with tracks, you know, doing cultivating and plowing and seeding and stuff like that because you get more traction. And the other one might be used for mowing and stuff like that. But still, I still it's quite expensive. And this one, and with wheels, it will be a lot cheaper. So we got the T8 425. It's been released for quite a, quite a while now. I just love how they put tires on her and as well change with the fenders and stuff like that. It's done fairly accurately. So I'm very happy to have, have one with tires, you know. So I have like two T8s with tires, you might say, you can't see the difference between them. I, <coughs> I usually have, in my old other Sega, I usually have the 425 on, on cultivating and stuff like that. And the 320 on the mowers and grass work so I know always where I have them plus you know just check the, the number behind the T8 but clip no clips on the tires it's gonna be very interesting to do clip checks we just went straight to the tractor you know clip checking gonna be a pain now but yeah it's pretty it's only the in-game model really except you know well change to be like the 320 <coughs> but in real life you know you get both of these versions if I don't remember wrong it should be wheels or tracks on pretty much all of them so in cab and everything looks pretty much identical really no difference sound is the same you got the lovely old beacons and top speed is the same. Well, it's pretty much the only difference is it's tires, same horsepower, same in uh, interesting physics. <laughs> and yeah, got some set of Trellborg tires. I think it's the same one on the 320. Let's check. I think it is. Ha! Also, too many for me to see. I think it's the same anyway. You technically just buy one, but. Eh, don't bother. Let's see here. What do you put you on? Torture test. I don't have enough money. No, you aren't saying that. <laughs> so, yeah, let's buy that. It will run the biggest one, but uh, this kind of cultivator requires most amount of horsepower. So, you know, just. If I can drive. There you go. <coughs> fairly, fairly big cultivator. It will run the lampkin as well. If I can drive. Are you going around the tree then? I should have a weight in the front. A little bit more traction. But we will go down to the field here. We might do a little bit of a comparison as well. Between the two. See if there's any difference. I don't think it is. Well, let's check. We'll uh, start down here on the field. Uh, I don't really need to start. Whoa! Certainly, it's a heavy cultivator, this. So definitely noticing that. Quite around. It requires 400 horsepower if I don't remember wrong. 
I just looked at it and I put it down to sure it said 400, 400, ah, no, 400 horsepower, there we go. So, with this cultivator you can go 20 kilometers an hour, but you're going 9 because you're going up a hill. But you know, the torture test is of course to see if the tractors can pull it up a hill. And we're doing 7 kilometers an hour here on the steepest part, and one of the steepest hills in Westbridge Hills. On the heap, cultivator that requires most amount of horsepower. So you know the tractor will pretty much easily pull it. So that's fine as well. It works with high worker. Like it should be because it's the in-game tractor, but you know, you always got to check. And then I'm thinking, what did I usually check before? And I'm like, oh yes, PTO and three point linkage. Shouldn't really be anything to check on these guys, but um, this guy here. No, I said these guys, but the this guy here. Shouldn't be really anything to check there. As well, it still has only the lower hitch, so only attached to. In this trailer and above, all the trailers above this, that has a lower hitch. Something just fell down on the floor there, but oh well. In real life, that is. <laughs> Let's see. Got the baby fertilizer spreader. Pick it up, you know, to make 100% sure that uh, I've done anything stupid. That's all, all good there. Kind of pointless really doing this on the in-game. Just slightly modified tractor. Not even modified, just changed a little bit. To look like the, on the in-game ones. So you know, it's not, not in locks or anything like that. It's nothing really new. It's for people that prefer wheels and not tracks. But let's just take a little check here. Just see if tracks. And then, well, tra if tracks has more power and pulling. But then we will actually go and take a look at the the shop, so I can show you folks, you know, the price and stuff like that. But first of all, let's just see. Whoa! <laughs> I don't think we'll hire a worker with this guy. He's gonna enjoy it myself, because it shouldn't be no difference really. Driving myself drive it myself up the hill here. You no know, way to anything like that, so of course we should really get yourself a scale down here on the farm to see their weight. It'll be something later on I suppose. Well I won't hire a worker because it won't work on me trying to cultivate the same piece of land. They might say, well what's the point of doing that? Well it shouldn't have any, as you can see, it shouldn't have any more ease pulling it like this or pulling it on this the game. shouldn't see any difference. So, just to do a little comparison, it's the same pretty much in farming sim. In real life, you would have noticed a big difference because it should be giving you a lot more traction. But in farming sim it doesn't really matter that much if you have a wheel version or not. So if you want to have, you know, the wheel version T8425, you also like like it a little bit more with wheels instead of tracks. Well, it's uh, it won't really affect you any negative really. Um, as well, dirt texture and everything works great. Have have seen it on the tires. Should be the same tires as the T8 or the T8 320. Let me just check that quick. Let's just see. Yes, it's the same tires. So it's just those tires there on this guy. There's nothing new there. As well as the rear around with the, ax the axle and stuff like that. The same. But you know, in, in reality, the only difference between a T8 and a a TA320 and a TA435 is the horsepower. 
But of course, I think both of them, or all of the T different T eight ranges, uh, ranges the different T eights, different numbers can have the tracks. I think all of them can. Don't know. Not really any specialist on T eight New Orleans. Well, let's take a look at the shop first of all. Let's see the prices on these two. This guy run now the three three twenty. There we go. It cost you. Two hundred and forty to oh man, two hundred and fifty four. There we go. My English is horrible. Maintenance two hundred and ninety dollars a day. That's how much that will cost you. And the T A full trade price smart track will cost you three hundred and twelve thousand pounds to buy. And three hundred and eighty dollars a day pounds dollars pounds, sorry, you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah. Those two, you know, a fair price difference there. But then you go and take a look at this guy. Yeah, £265 a day. Uh, I suppose that, that that difference in in money will probably, I don't know if that if that is 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 enough for the difference in horsepower. I suppose it might be, but... I don't know. It feels a little bit small price difference from a T8320 versus a T8425, but I don't know. As well, the maintenance is very low. So, in all cases, you know how it's set it up, this tractor will be pretty much could replace both of them, really. It's more horsepower than the 320 and it costs less than the uh, T8 435 smart track, so it's fairly good. It's very very cool. I use it a lot. I like it. I like to have the wheel version as well as the track version. But yeah, farmers, so definitely a solid mod if you like the T8. Not everybody do so. But the people that likes it and not notice it was a wheel version that doesn't like the track version, I just want to add another one to their fleet. So here we go. You could save you some money as well. But yeah, farmers, I'll see you all soon. And have a nice day. Bye.